a plan is kicking off partnering with the community to develop Picture Pack Ave. Wesley Rhodes, Senior Planner with the City's Planning and Development Services Department, is here to talk more about this comprehensive plan and what it means for the community. Welcome to the show, Wesley. Thanks, Laura. It's so great to be here. And it is wonderful to have you here. So let's dive in. Sure. So Wesley, can we start off with an overview of what the Picture Pack app is, why it's happening here, and why now? Absolutely. So Picture Pack Ave is a long range plan for the Pacific Avenue corridor from about I-5 in the north down to about the city limits, which is around South 96th Street in the south. And really what it's doing is two main things. It's an opportunity for us to work with the community to create a community shaped vision for sort of what we want this area to look like over the next 25 years. And then to also identify what kinds of things the city needs to be doing either from a policy and code standpoint or from actual like physical capital investments in the community to help create that vision over time. The reasons that we're doing it here and now in this corridor is that city council really recognize that a couple things are happening. First of all, citywide, Tacoma is expected to grow about 50% over the next 25 years. And then also specifically to the Pacific Avenue corridor, Pierce Transit has proposed transit improvements in the form of a bus rapid transit system. And so this is an opportunity for us to really be proactive as a city to address these changes and make sure that they occur in the way that both current and future Tacomans want over time, as opposed to being reactive as these changes occur. Gotcha. Sounds like a very exciting project. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so, Wesley, this effort will include a variety of different elements. Um, so can you touch on what those elements are mm -hmm. and what the benefits are of a project like this for the community? Sure. So these plans are pretty comprehensive, so they include a lot of different elements, mm -hmm. but I'll hit on what I think are a few key ones today. The first I want to talk about is mobility. So the plan will be looking at uh, improving mobility for all modes. So this includes cars, things like transit and buses, as well as people walking, rolling and biking throughout the community. And the plan will have a specific emphasis on uh, improving pedestrian safety in particular and also looking at how we can connect the surrounding neighborhoods to these future bus rapid transit stations. Um, so that includes looking at things like sidewalk infrastructure and things like that. The next is really looking at something called equitable transit oriented development, which is kind of a big word. It really just means that we want to have more housing and more jobs near where we have high capacity transit stations. So with high capacity transit slated for this corridor, we uh, um, are looking at strategies and ways to get more housing and more jobs located near those. Mm -hmm. Where the equitable part comes in is we really wanna make sure that that housing that comes in is affordable at a variety of price points mm -hmm. across the spectrum, mm -hmm. which includes affordable housing. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we also wanna look at things like anti-displacement strategies for existing residents and businesses that wanna stay in place as these changes occur over time. Another area we're looking at is things like climate change and sustainability. So that includes things like green infrastructure, streetscaping, mm -hmm. street trees, and also a recognition that when you put more housing and jobs near transit, more people uh, don't have to rely on cars for every single trip they make, and that can reduce greenhouse gas emissions as well, help the city hit its greenhouse gas targets. Um, the fourth and final thing I want to mention is we'll be looking at things like infrastructure and amenities. So really talking to the community about what things are they missing or do they want in their communities, want more of things like parks, schools, community centers. Um, and then also what kinds of investments does the city need to be making in terms of infrastructure, mm -hmm. both the things you see like sidewalks, um, but also things that are underground utilities like um, storm water and sewer. Right. Okay. The other thing I would just mention is as part of this plan, um, two things. So we're doing an environmental review in the form of something called a planned action environmental impact statement. Mm -hmm. What this allows us to do is to do sort of like an upfront and cumulative area wide review of sort of what the impacts might be as development occurs over time 
as opposed to a different way of doing it, which would just be piecemeal, kind of project by project review. Okay. And then also, I'm very excited about this. We are partnering with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department to also conduct a health impact assessment as part of this plan. Wow, amazing. Yeah, of, we're doing of, a lot. Right. <laughs> And so, Wesley, our final question. Sure. It sounds like this will need a lot of community input. How can residents get involved? Yeah, absolutely. So the best time to get involved really is right now over the summer. We're really doing our visioning and scoping phase right now through the end of August. So there's a couple ways you can get involved. I would encourage everyone to visit our online open house, which you can visit at bit.ly slash picturepackav. Um, this is also translated into Spanish, Vietnamese, and Korean. And take our survey, which are also translated as well for those who need it. That's the absolute best way to sort of learn more, get involved, and take our survey. Give us your feedback. We also have an ideas wall on that as well. We have a project webpage um, that's part of the city's website. So that's cityoftacoma.org slash picturepackav. You can always get information and links that way. Um, we'll be out in the community all summer long doing things like showing up and tabling at the farmer, the Eastside Farmers Market. Um, we'll also be doing like community walks. We have a whole variety of things we have planned, mostly sort of partnering with existing events to be there, be out in the community talking to people in person. Okay. And then we also have a community information session that will be virtual on Zoom. That will be on July 13th from 6.30 to 8. You can pre-register for that at bit.ly slash packav kickoff meeting. Awesome. Well, Wesley, thank you so much for being on the show today. That was a wonderful, wonderful interview with all of the information. And again, just encouraging the community to reach out and provide their input. So thank you so Absolutely. much. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> all right.